Hi, this is Adele and today we are going to work with chest openers and shoulder stretches. So this poses, what we would love to achieve with them is the, the kind of open-hearted feeling, that nice expansion across the heart and better breathing. So just do to your own degree. Okay. Just enjoy the process that it helps you to unfold and then breathe well throughout the practice. Anything that feels too tough or a little bit uh, disorienting for you today, you know, just revisit it again at another day or another time. And we will also be exploring some twists because twists are so good to help us to, you know, uh, open across the chest and that when you come out of it, that is really where you feel really good and kind of like a ah, kind of feeling. So. The process of twist may be challenging, but we're going to break it down so it will be piecemeal, it will be uh, bite sized to you. So let's enjoy the session. Come to a comfortable seat on a block if you like to. Take your hands on your knees, relax the shoulders and sit tall. Let your eyes fall closed for a while. Just observe how you're feeling at this moment without judgment. Notice how your shoulders are feeling, how your chest is feeling. Are you breathing? If not, can you start to insert your breath into the pose? Allow a few rounds of gentle breathing to ease you into the, today's practice. It is nice and comfortable pace, something that works well for you today. Gently just turn your face to your right side. Back to center. Take it to the left where you will go. Back to center. Throat forward, chin up lightly. Center. Throat slides back, chin to chest. And come back center. Take a gentle inhale. Sign out. One more like this. Inhale. Sign out. And after that, choose a style of breathing that works well for you. Something well paced. And know that there's no rigidity to the breath. So whenever you need to breathe more, just go ahead. Whenever you feel like you can slow down the breath, do that. Mostly we'll be doing nostril breathing throughout the session. But if it proves too challenging for you, especially during twists, feel free to exhale through the mouth. Slide your hands to your heart center. Gently open your eyes. Let us begin. Namaste. Interlace your fingers, reach your arms overhead. Just give a nice lift of the ribs as you press down through the sit. Feel like the neck is soft and you can slightly move, like you're rolling your head across the air and back. And bend your elbows, release your arms down. Take your right hand to the right side and lean over to the right in a side stretch. Feel the ribs lift up and towards the right side. Come back center, left hand down, reach over to the left side. Just a gentle side bending to your degree. Come back to center, both arms overhead. Twist towards the right side to where you go. Hold the midline for a while before your right hand goes back, left hand out to right knee. So you first work with a line lift in the spine before you gently turn the chest lightly towards the right side. Insert the breath if you have been holding your breath. Inhale, turn back center, arms overhead. With the arms still lifted, turn towards the left, twisting. Relax the jaws, find comfortable breath before you add the left hand behind your butt, right hand out to left knee. Sit up tall, feeling a lift. And exhale, see if you can revolve the chest a little bit. 
in just gentle breathing in and out. It might be faster pace since they are holding a little twist. Slowly inhale, return to center, arms overhead. Exhale, take the arms down to the side. Come on, hands and knees all fours. Palms below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Feel free to tuck or lay flat the toes. Point your tail, stretch your belly and chest out forward. Tuck tail, rounding your lower, your middle and up back in cow pose. Point tail, you stretch the belly and chest out front, cow pose. Tuck tail, hunch your lower back, your middle back and upper back, creating stretch across the back. Inhale, let yourself stretch your belly and chest out. And exhale, rounding and spreading out your back ribs as you push into the ground. Look forward, toes point back, sit your buttocks back towards the heels with the palms pressing down. Nice extended child's pose. So feel the inner borders of the shoulders draw back, but press down onto the pinky side of your hands. Breathing, your buttocks heavy, soften the belly, allow the chest to stretch out forward. Two more breaths in here, just allowing a nice organic unfolding of the back area. And slowly come back onto hands and knees, narrow your hands below your face. So you can tuck your toes with any extra support, otherwise press down the shins. Either way, you get more support. Palms press on the ground, right arm open out to the right side to where you will go. Exhale, thread it halfway through the left and left knee. Inhale to open across the chest. Exhale, thread halfway through. Two more. Inhale, spread out to where you can. Exhale. One more. Inhale, we're going to settle in. Exhale, thread the needle, right shoulder down, right side, temple down the ground, left arm push. Put the left hand closer to the side of the face and feel like you roll the right ribs towards the left side more. Stay here. Now the right shoulder drop away from the ears more. Breathe. Take it for another three more breaths. Just gently resting your right shoulder on the ground, stretching out the right side neck, breathing. Push down the left hand close to your face for that support and then right arm just open up to the right side like a T and right hand down to the ground. Position yourself well for a while, just neutral spine, inhale and exhale. Remove the hands just below the face, narrow the palms. Then left arm open out to the side to where you can. Exhale, thread through. Inhale, just lightly open. Exhale, thread through. Open out the chest, turning. Threading through. One more time, open to where you can. And just thread through the left hand, the left shoulder down, the left side face on the ground. Feel free to get a shoulder onto a block or to a towel. Then right arm push the ground. Feel like the left side chest turn more towards the bended elbow. Breathe, relax the jaws. Stay in for a few more counts. Your fingers are soft, jaws are relaxed. Soft breathing. Push down the right palm and slowly draw the left arm up like a T-shape. And slowly place both hands down on all fours. Check in on your fingers, pointing forward, toes pointing back. Just shift the shoulders forward as you push down your hands and shift back lightly. Shift forward, relax the jaws, broaden the collar and pull back. One more time, over the palms, you broaden across the chest. And then sit back, tuck the toes, just sit back into your heels with your arms go straight. So when your arms are next to your ears, which is a challenging position to hold weight, you really got to press down the first two knuckles. Inner borders of the shoulders are soft so that the neck can move and then press down the fingertips pad. Come on hand your knees, tuck the toes, float the knees. Working a little bit more challenge with weight bearing, which sometimes can be challenging for the breath. Then shift the buttocks and ties backwards or downward facing dog. Pad it up and down your heels as you maybe find a more comfortable position of the hands. Shoulder width all wider. Toes point ahead. The usual setup of your down dog. Gentle breathing. Then from there you can settle. And then walk your feet wide to the width of the mat. Slide bend your knees and walk your hands backwards so you can drape into your legs. 
soft knees, soft bend in the knees, let the upper body hang. So you really want to feel, okay, the sides of the neck is soft, the jaws are relaxed, the back feels broad. You're feeling well anchored down into your heels, hands on opposite elbow. Let the forehead go into that cradle as you sway side to side. You are feeling the side waist getting long as you shift side waist. And then there's this nice anchoring of your feet. It's like a nice security as you feel free to move in your body, be it moving the physical body or the breath. Come back to the center. Then from there, I'd like you to raise your forearms towards your forehead and down. A few more like this. Forearms to forehead and down. You need to get a strong anchor. Forearm to forehead. Down. One more time. Forearm to forehead. And down. Then from there, let the arms hang. Maybe squeeze one leg straighter. Relax the jaws. You can stretch out the chest lightly. Release and then squeeze the left leg straight. I'm resting the back of my hands against the ground. Feel free for both legs straight if it's within comfort for you. Bend both knees, hands on hips, and slowly, slowly press yourself up to standing all the way upright. Then from there, facing forward, feet hip width apart. Allow the arms to hang inside the body. Simple arm movements, which makes it easier to coordinate your breath. Arms out to the side. Palms face up, reach overhead. Then slowly release the arms all the way down. Arms up, palms face up, reach the arms overhead. And exhale, slowly release your arms down. Two more. Palms face up when you're midway up, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, can help you to lower down with control. One more time, lifting up. Palms face up all the way, arms overhead. Inner borders are soft, fingers reaching high. Then from there, right arm down, side bend over to the right side, press down through the feet, lift the ribs up, bend over towards the right side, jaws back soft. You can turn to look down a little bit, just making sure you're getting a little nice neck stretch. Look forward, reach your arms overhead, left side, arm down, lift up, bend out of your pelvis, reaching out to the left side, soft jaws. Turn your chin down towards the left collarbone a little bit, like you're gazing in your left foot. Look forward and both arms up to the sky. Bend your elbows, interlace your fingers and put your palms on the top of the head. Then slowly turn the palms up and reach up to the sky. Bend the elbows, palms on the crown of the head. Turn the palms up, reach up. One more time, bend elbows, palms on head. Turn the palms up, lean your weight forward, come on tiptoe balance and just press down the big toe as you lift the ribs up and away. Imagine you squeeze a block between your thighs and staying here as you breathe for another three, two, one. Heel down, elbows bend, release the arms by the side of the body. Take your arms like you're holding an invisible platter, drop the shoulders down, feel the shoulder blades pull down towards the waist. Feel like that's the weight of the platter, resting on your hands, but keep the fingers and jaws relaxed. Open the elbows out sideways. No, open the fingers out sideways and close in. Keep the elbows snuck into the side ribs and pull it. Open across the chest, pull in. One more time, open across the chest and pull in. Then that's where you stack your left elbow over the right elbow. Wrap your hands to find the back, upper back area, and your neck is soft, you just lift your elbows a little bit up, but keep the shoulders down, elbows lifted instead. Feel that as the elbows lift, it will cover over the mouth, and then you feel a little lift of the belly. Bend your knees to keep the weight into the heels. Then from there, you round your back and tip your elbows to the front of the knees over bent knees. Use your hands to stretch, open your back. And take a little while here with the back spread and slowly pull the elbows tip into your chest as you slowly take yourself all the way up and go into a reverse as you stretch your belly, knees stay soft, exhale, elbows drop down to chest level and down and let the arms go. Take a moment, invisible platter, left elbow 
Right elbow on top, left elbow. Wrap your hands around. Find the tips of the shoulder blades. And then broaden out the back. Feel like you're also broadening the collarbone. So there's nice spread out feeling. Bend your knees more. Feet press down to big toe side. Round your back like a cat. And just tip as you get a back stretch. Be it laterally or horizontally. Round down the heel if you want to warm up your legs more. Feel free to go into a deeper squat. What's more important is the breath and spreading out the back ribs. Pull the elbow tips in the chest before you slowly ascend. Keep the knees soft bend and gently stretch out the belly, the armpit region. Your head might slightly tilt back. Slowly return to neutral standing. Let the arms release by the side and let go. So from here, now that we've covered the arms overhead action and the spread out of the shoulder blade action, we're going to put it more into action. Come into uh, front of the mat, your feet a comfortable distance, your arms lay out beside the body. So stand tall, jaws relaxed, fingers soft. You can turn your palms facing forward and notice how it lightly open up the chest facing front. Relax the jaws, arms reach out and up, come up into extended mountain. Then bring your hands to heart as you exhale, you fold into your legs a standing forward fold. Back is soft, the upper back is spreading. Straighten your legs, hands on shins, a flat back long spine. Exhale, slight bend your knees, pull your belly across your thighs and drape into your legs. Ankle down, inhale, slowly come up through mountain to the sky. Exhale, slide your hands to heart as half sun salutes. Inhale, reach your arms up and out. Exhale, fold from the hips as your hands come to heart and fold, fold. Hands on shins, straighten out your arms, your legs are back, remember broad collarbones. Exhale, fold into your legs a standing forward fold. Maybe your legs squeeze a little straighter or my top hitch forward some more. Press down through the feet, inhale, come up all the way to mountain. And exhale, hands to heart, namaste. Going more flow, inhale, mountain to the sky. Exhale, forward fold at the hip. Hands on shins, flat back. Fingers down to ground, right foot lunge. Keep the back toes spread, looking forward. Lift your torso up into high lunge. Reach your arms up into high lunge, warrior. Feel a nice cinch in feeling as you lift the ribs and lift the chin. Slide your hands to your heart. Lean forward, press the hands. Step back, downward facing dog with your toes point forward. Raise your heels, come on tiptoe and come forward onto all fours. Arch your back in cow pose. Round your back in cat pose. Looking forward, toes point back, sit your bottoms back, extend the child's pose. Find a nice reach of your back as you press down the inner hands. Come up onto hands and knees. Step the right foot between your hands, a short lunge. Back toes can tuck. Lift the torso up, come up into a short lunge. Take your hands, interlace your fingers, back on the hip and slightly open the elbows as you feel the armpit open. Now as you lean forward, you point the elbows forward and feel like you crunch towards the front knee. Slowly lift up. Open the chest, gently tip back. Exhale, rounding forward to the front of the knees. Inhale, slowly lift up, spreading across the chest. One more time, rounding forward. And slowly lifting up, face forward, push your palms to the sky. Slightly angle your gaze up to where you can. Look forward, bend elbows, release your hands down to the ground next to your foot. Lift the back thigh into a lunge. Then press down your hands, slide back to plank pose. Drop your knees far away from the hands, chest slide forward. A little bit more load into your knuckles. Bend the elbows, slow descent. Toes back. Take your arms by the side of the body with your palms face in, the thumb pointing down. Straighten your legs, press down the pinky toenails, roll the shoulders away and slightly lift the chest as you look down your nose tip. Take a little while in this half locus, then float the hands up and feel like your palms facing the thighs as your fingers reach back, the shoulders squeeze between the shoulder blades. 
Exhale, lower down the chest. Hands up the ribs. Press back to force. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog to breathe. Arms next to your ears, slightly grip the fingers, get a nice support from the earth. One more breath here. Raise the heels, right foot step forward. Left hand to stay, left foot to stay, right arm to right side and open across the chest, twisting. Exhale, right hand down. Left foot step forward, fold into your legs, a standing forward fold. Over bend knees or straight legs, inhale, float up to stand in a tall mountain. Exhale, hands to heart, namaste. Second, inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold. Hands on shins, long spine, flat back, open collar. Bend knees, fingers down, left lunge, back confident strike. Feel free to check in that your back foot is well placed. Rolling lift your torso up into a lunge. Back leg can stay bent for more support or straighten. Lift up through the ribs towards the ceiling. Feel lifted. Hands slide to heart, a little bit more centering. Lean forward, press your palms to ground. Slide back, downward facing dog. Raise the heels, come on tiptoes, knees to ground. Arch your back to cow. Hunch your back to cat. Neutral spine, toes, sit back, buttocks to heels, extend the child's pose. Inner borders or shoulders soft, so it almost feels like your neck can turn. Buttocks heavy, stretching out the lowest back area. Come on to hands and knees, stable hands. Left foot step between the hands, feel free to adjust later on. Right toes can tuck and slowly lift yourself upright. Feel the hips stack over the chest and the belly as well as the pelvis. Interlace your fingers. Elbows open, slightly peel out the chest as you press down the front big toe. You can point the elbows forward so it allows you to round forward in front of the left knee. Inhale, open across the chest, gently tip your chin up, it feels comfortable. Exhale, rounding as you stable your core. Inhale, spreading out the chest. Exhale. One more set. Inhale, broaden across the chest. Exhale, round forward. Slowly come up. Interlace fingers and push your arms overhead. Feel free to turn your gaze slightly up as you trust the balance that you have established at the bottom. Look forward, bend elbows. Take your hands down to the ground beside the foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the back leg straight. Press down the hands and step back to plank pose. Palm shoulder weave, stay one breath, heels driving down. Drop the knees far away. Lean weight forward to the knuckles, bend the elbows back, slow, lower down. Arms by the side of the body, palms face in, thumb pointing down. Face the thigh downwards. Firm your thighs, roll the shoulders, half lotus. Float the legs if you like to. Float the palms facing inwards towards the thighs. Look down the nose to breathe. Exhale, lower down the belly, lower down the chest. Add in a little bit, palms next to your ribs. Roll the shoulders away. You feel like the hands are almost slightly pulling backwards as your chest slither forward. Baby Cobra, keep your gaze angled down. Exhale, down with your chest. Hands and knees all fours. Press the ground with downward facing dog. Same thing, breathe. Let the thighs and pelvis go back. Knees can soft bend, heels can stay lifted. Heel up slightly, left foot step between the hands. Right hand stay, back foot is helping wedge down. Left arm open, twisting high lunge, broaden the chest. Exhale, left hand down, look ahead. Right foot step forward, over bend knees or straight leg forward, fold. Gradually hinge the buttocks forward and feel the calves working. Lift your chest, inhale, strong leg support, come up through mountain. And exhale, hands to heart center, namaste. Inhale, mountain to the sky. This time, exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, half lift. But add in a bend knees. Buttock sit down, invisible chair. Reach your arms back as you did in your half lotus. Arms reaching back like a skiing. Press your palms facing in and interlace your fingers. Put feet pull back. Keep your feet on the back. You can keep your knees a little bit more uh, straighter if you like to. You can lift the arms over and up. Roll the shoulders and gently roll from side to side. So you're just rocking your arms from side to side. Over a bare knees, just gaze down to where it feels comfortable. Then you can add in a forward fold, the shoulder stretch. Feel free to keep the fist on the back. If you have more mobility in the shoulders, shoulders roll away and your feet draw over your head. Soft knees may be helpful to keep your feet grounded. Bend your knees, release your hands downwards, side of the ankles, then bring your palms to heart, shift weight to your left foot, right foot slide back into a high lunge, torso up. You can take one more breath to steady yourself down, or take the left hand on tie, right arm up to the sky. Turn your chest over to your right side, looking over to the right shoulder. Left hand stay, or left arm reach next to your ear. As you let the right shoulder drop down and your back leg is holding firm. Come back to Namaste hands or arms overhead depending on which position you are working with. Exhale, slowly touch down. Slide back this time all the way to plank pose. On knees or toes, chest forward, bend elbows backwards, slowly lower down. Remember Cobra, face the tie down, roll the shoulders, look down the nose tip. Legs stretching back, belly stretching out. Baby, or a little higher cobra, but your shoulders slide down, the jaws relax, a few nice lift of the belly. Lower down the body, press palms, press knees, or force, exhale, downward facing dog. Your thighs going back, your arms going straight. Breathe. Heel up slightly. Take a moment. Shift the weight to the left foot as your right leg lift up. Bend your knee, heel to butt, and curl your right knee forward towards the chest. Hunch your back, breathe. Straighten the right leg back and up, maybe it goes higher. Curl your knee forward. One more time, lifting upwards. And curl in and step the right foot between the hands. Back knee stays up or down. Inhale, slowly come up into that high lunge. Warrior. Take your hands, interlace your fingers at the back of your head, then lift up through the ribs. Exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, slowly lift, a little increased challenge. Exhale, rounding forward. And inhale, slowly lift. Exhale, rounding forward, slide your hands down. Back foot can slide one more step forward and squeeze your legs straight up. Back heel might be lifted, those with more ankle flexibility, your heel might be quite wedged down to the ground. Shift your right butt towards the left heel and elongate the spine, lengthening out through the front body. Relax the jaws, broaden the shoulders backwards, breathe. Bend your front knee. Open your right arm to the right side and twisting high lunge, facing rightwards. Exhale, right hand down, press the ground and slide your right foot back into a plank pose. Stay in plank, drop the right knee down, right toes tuck out, left foot flat, open up the left arm into a side plank. You let the front elbow crease face out as you push down the right palm. Feel free to stay here or left hand on hip or sweep this left arm across the ear reaching out. And you get a nice left side ribs opening, left side body long. Your left foot is pressing down lightly for resistance. Breathe. Hands down, knees down, all fours. Either go back to child's pose to rest or downward facing dog for two breaths. Breathe in and out, relax the jaws, find comfort in your breath. Heel up, left leg up. Crunch in, knee towards the chest. Press the ground, soft jaws. Inhale, maybe the leg go higher. Crunching forward, two. Lifting up. 
crunching forward, left foot slide between the hands. Back heel stays up. Don't be on a tight rope. Feel free for right foot going out a little bit. You can always bend the back knee, which helps you a easy transit up. Interlace your fingers. Open the elbows slightly on the way up. Exhale, point the elbows down to have your crunch down. Open. Crunch. Let your breath support your movement. One more time. Open. And crunch. Left hand slide down. To, both hands slide down. You can walk in one small step. Half a small step actually. Left butt tack towards the right heel. You press down the fingers or hands on blocks. Broaden chest. Roll the shoulders away from heels with long spine, long neck. Breathe. Bend your front knee. If you feel the stance is too short, feel free to slide the right foot down. Right hand on fingers or palms. Left arm open, twisting. Way down into your left foot for support. Exhale, left hand down. Press through the palms and slide your left foot back. Back, left knee down, left toes tucked to left side. Right foot flat, open the right arm across the chest, twisting. Top arm, feel free to stay here. The elbow crease face forward, feel the lift of the ribs away. Top arm reach across the ear, lift the ribs away from the pelvis, so the sideways is long. Right foot can offer a resistance. Exhale, hands down, knees down, all fours. Sit the bum back towards the heels. Extend the child's pose. Allow the butt to go back and down as you breathe. Take a while. Soften the jaws. Re-establish. Thumb, index, knuckle. Press the earth. Come back onto hands and knees. Tuck toes under. Downward facing dog. Heel raise with your right foot. Step forward. Then from there, slowly come up into a high lunge. Inhale, lift the ribs and arms upwards. Then right hand on the thigh, glancing over the left shoulder. Left hand can find the back of your thigh. Firm the thigh into your hand. You can now lunge in here. Right arm, feel free to add on overhead. Or take it on the right thigh still. You revolve back facing front. And take your hands down to the ground. Step forward and fold into your legs, just allowing the shoulders to drape. Buckle shift forward from thighs, easy breath. Stay here. You can always keep a straight legs if you like to. Hinge up, stand on soft knees. Mountain. And exhale, hands to heart. Take a moment in Tadasana. Arms up, re-establish the palms facing forward, a light spread across the chest and the collarbone. So you find that support through the feet, it's like almost you ground, so that you get a lift to help you to breathe better. Palms face front, mouth it up. Exhale, forward fold at the hip. Flat back long spine, hands or shins or fingers to ground. Knee bend. Slowly arms switch back, interlace the other thumb on top, left thumb over right if you like to. Take the shoulders, pull back and feel like the inner arm tuck in. Lift your arms over, you can gently roll from side to side or feel free just to go directly into a shoulder stretch over bent leg or straight legs. But I'll shift forward will be more challenging. It's almost like getting your toes to get you that nice little grip on the ground without tensing jaws. Bare knees, skiing. Take your hands overhead or palms to heart is fine. Shift weight to right side, left foot lunge back. Then from there, reach your arms all the way. High lunge warrior. A little bit more challenging. Then from there, okay, let's take the palms to the center of the heart. And gently turn your chest towards the left side. But instead, let's open our arms like airplane wings, palms face out to the left side. Left hand down, right arm lift up like a half windmill downwards towards the left. Exhale, windmill the other way, cut with both hands down towards the ground. Slide back to plank pose. Stay in plank pose or top pose. 
drop the left knee on the ground if you like to, otherwise swivel on the left edge of the foot, right foot in front, side plank with right fingers on the ground, right hand on hip, or arm to sky. Press away the earth. Right hand now come into plank pose. Drop the knees, lean forward, elbows bend, lower down. Inhale, pull back the peel of the hands and peel your chest forward as your legs stretching back to your own degree. Shoulders down, collarbones brightening forward. Slowly lower down. <sighs> pull back on knees. Sit back. Child's pose, buttocks to heels. Stretch out gently. But this time, okay, as your buttocks settle down to where you can, narrow your hands. Okay, check in how it feels on the back. If it feels a little very challenging, just stay here. Otherwise, or, or just open your hands a little bit. Squeeze the inner elbows closer together. Clear your hands like doing a clap. Those who can interlace your fingers into one fist. Drop the elbows in and pull the fist over the back of the hip as the elbows slide forward. Pretty much in a tight pad position. Stretching the underside of the armpit. Side body. Underarm. Release your fist forward. Release your palms. Open your arms shoulder width. Come back onto hands and knees. Exhale, a downward facing dog. With your thighs and buttocks up to the sky. We're going to add in a little bit more opening. So just now we're doing the lunging version. Now we're going to do warrior one. Lift the heels. Right leg up. But face the right thigh, right knee out to the right side as you bend your knees. Point the knee upwards, angle up as your right heel come towards the butt. It's almost like you're looking over to your right shoulder, right armpit. Then from there, you turn the knee to level of the hips. We're not doing a lot, but we don't strain the shoulders too much. And pull the knee forward as your right heel step to the hands. Back foot angles, one small step to the left side. Angle about 45 to 60 degrees forward. Lift up the chest, open across the heart. Take a while with your fingers on the ground. And then from there, you slowly lift your torso up. Sit into your front thigh. Keep the front knee bending as you turn your chest more rightwards. Do not be on a tight rope. Move the right foot to the right side more. Stand in the power of your legs. Then feel free. Reach your arms up. Into warrior one with a lifted wrist, a little bit broadening across the chest. Take your arms down and back like a locust, your palms face in. Feel like clapping your palms or interlace your fingers loosely or close your heels of the hands in. Let the chest turn a little bit more rightwards. Then from there, fold your belly across your right thigh with your front knee bent. Your feet can stay here or add in a shoulder stretch overhead. So it's very balancing involved. You're almost you're in a very narrow stance. The shoulders can lift up. The more you pull your shoulders, it may okay, become more challenging for your feet support. So just pull enough for you to feel challenged without strain. Humble warrior. Release the fists. Release your hands. I like you to lift the back heel up, point the toes forward. Hands on blocks or on fingers, squeeze the front leg straight and extend out the chest. Long spine, long back, breathing. Take a little while, bend the front knee, left palm press, right arm open to right side. Let the top palm face back towards the right side and wrap it around the left, the left hip as you revolve the chest. And press down the left hand for support. Feel free to look on to the right side. Exhale, unravel yourself. Press the hands. Slide back to a wide plank pose. Push down the heels, press down the hands. Broaden the collarbones as you use the inner hands and the outer hands, which corresponds to your shoulder blades. Drop the knees down. Toes back and slowly lie down with your wide feet. Shoulders roll back. Bring the elbows down below the shoulders. And just let your hands lay out as your collarbones broaden. 
Your feet is wide, which is what we want. If you like to, you raise the right thigh and face the right thigh more down, lower down. Same with the left leg. Lift the left thigh slightly. Feel like you are rolling your thigh now. Face down. You can look over to the right shoulder, right hip. Even maybe glancing down to your heel. Come back through center. I'm looking over the left shoulder, left hip over to the right heel. Come back through center. Open the elbows. Let yourself lie. On the belly, soften across the ribs. Open the elbows like cactus arms in line. Elbow in line, the shoulders, fingers point forward. Forehead down to the ground. If it becomes a little uncomfortable with your feet so wide, feel free to narrow the feet. Then from the elbow tip down, if your forearms and your palms lifted, lift the chest slightly. If you can, float the elbows up and feel like you are pulling the back of the hands backwards. Then from there, reach your arms outwards, palms facing forward. Slowly, slowly slide the hands back. This time, your palms are facing outwards. As you stretch your belly and your chest forward, exhale, palms face down, lower down onto the chest. Slide the hands forward, palms beside the ribs. Narrow your feet this time, come back onto hands and knees. Pull back, exhale, downward facing top. Thighs and bum up, squeeze your legs, squeeze your arms firm, broaden the back. Add in a few rounds of conscious breathing. Then we're going to a second set. Make sure your down dogs feel secure. So feel free to grip the fingers, soften the jaws, press with arms, and really allow the thighs and butt to drive the action back. Heel up slightly. Lift the left leg as you face the left thigh and left knee up. Bend the knee, heel to back. You want to gaze on a little bit to the left side. Then from there, you level the hips, crunch the knee forward. Step between your hips. Right foot out to the right side angle, 45 to 60 degrees front. Lift up through long spine. Really heel weighted down, like you have an ankle weight pulling down to the left heel. Hang on hip or just arms organically lift up. Sit into your warrior one. Left butt tack towards the right heel, right hip extend. Reach your arms up to where you can. Lift the ribs, breathe, hug in at the inner thigh. Arms go back, interlace the tongue on top. Interlace fingers, squeeze the arms backwards. Fold as you trust the front foot way down. Lean into humble warrior. Just keep the fist on the back if it feels that more secure there. But just lightly squeeze the shoulder blades. Otherwise, adding more lift of the arms. The body might fold more forward. I'm resting my belly across my thighs. Broaden across the nostrils as well. Breathe. Release the fist down. Take the hands on the ground and squeeze your front leg straight. Pyramid pose. Extend out the spine. Breathe in here. Relax the jaws. Take a while as you rebend the front knee, back heel lift. Press down the right palm and open the left arm up. Twisting high lunge. Exhale, slowly take the left hand down. Then from there, you push down the palms and slide your left foot back into your plank pose. Swivel onto the right edge of the foot, left foot flat. Open the left arm up into the sky. Press down the hands. Left arm reach across the ear if you like a little, little stop up. Left hand down, come into plank pose. Then from there, drop the knees down. Toes point back. Sit your buttocks back towards the heels. Extend the child's pose. Squeeze the arms straight. Lift the elbows and forearms off the earth. Then from there, walk in your hands a little bit, palms face in, clap your hands. Elbow tips stay down, which already gives you, as your buttocks offer the resistance back, it really gets you a nice little stretch 
from armpit to elbow. Otherwise, interlace your fingers, dig the elbows down, forehead down, and fist go behind the back of the head. Take a little while here, just breathing in and out, soft draws, in and out. Then slowly from there, release the hands forward, open up the hands, come back into hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, lift the back thighs up, come back to downward facing dog, buttocks up. Thighs going back, raise the heels, left foot step between the hands, right heel lifted, lift the torso, inhale, come up into high lunge warrior. Take the palms back to the center of your heart as your shoulder dip down. A little bit more challenging, back heel stays up, gently turn the chest towards the right side. Then from there, open the arms up, palms facing out. Right hand down, feel like you're windmilling backwards. Left arm next to your ears, right hand meet the back of your right thigh. Then slowly cut wheel both hands down towards the ground, forward. Over bend knees, stretch out the chest, lift the back heel, and step your right foot forward. Then slowly firm your body over your legs into a forward fold. Bend your knees, skier position with your arms next to your hips and take the arms a straight line forward, come into chair pose. Exhale, squeeze the leg straight, interlace your fingers, palms press over it. Lean weight forward, raise the heels, tiptoe balance. Take a moment to find your breath and find your balance. Breathing. Feel free to challenge by turning your gaze slightly and go upwards. Heel down, elbows bend, release your arms down to the side of the body. Arms rest, palms facing the thighs. Or slightly forward, whichever offers you a little bit more opening across the heart. Breathe in and out. Stay. Then from there, open your eyes and close them and walk one third way down the end, the, the front of the mat. Bend your knees. You imagine you have a block between your thighs or you feel your knees are really wobbly. Squeeze your thighs together. Bend your knees and sit the buttocks backwards, invisible chair. Then sit in a little bit more. You can slide your hands down to hold the sides of the shins to stabilize. Stabilize the side of the knee as well. And reach your arms forward and up. Slide your hands to your heart center. And then take your left elbow, tap against the outer right knee. Imagine you're squeezing the block and turn the chest. Untwist. Tap up to the second side. Untwist. Exhale, fold into your legs. Knee bend. Hands to heart chair. Left elbow, tap against the outer right knee. Use your right hand, stable the thighs, and left upper arm hook again. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, turn the chest. Press your hands together. Slowly drop the weight of the buttocks down as you come down to a squatting. Okay, take inhale to extend the spine. Exhale. And slowly, slowly rip off the chest. Let the left knee slide forward more. And let your chest feel a little bit more lifted. Then from there, arm twist, hand towards the ground forward. Then from here, you can slowly press down the heel and over bend knees. Let's let your belly drape over your legs. Soften the neck on tented fingers or press your hands or just your hands on the back of your legs. Good, take a while. Take your hands at the back of your knees. And slowly, feel like you want to uh, clamp your hands at the back of the knees. Squeeze your legs straight, lift yourself up. We go one more side. Inhale, hold it. Knee bend. Chair pose. Inhale, palms to heart. Left hand hold the thigh, right elbow wedge against the outer right thigh. In fact, get that whole arm. Use your left hand to stay with the thighs. 
extend your core, crown the hip towards the front and turn the belly, pull the belly out of the way if it's helpful. My right knee is coming a little forward, that's fine. Just make sure your heels are grounded, squeeze the invisible block, palms to crotch, turn the chest. Looking downwards, you lean weight into your heels as you slowly, slowly come down to a squat. Right knee tracks forward, might like help you get a little bit more revolve across the chest. Stay on tippy toes. Exhale, slowly, slowly untwist. Hand to the ground. Take a moment, allow the back to stretch as you fold your belly over. You can open the knees a little wider so your belly feels like it's flopping between the thighs. Feel free to hold the front. Uh, hold the front of the shin with your hand on opposite elbow. Your right hand over your left wrist. Fingers to the ground, slowly plant the heels as you lean forward over bare knees is fine. Sit the arm, reach backwards your palms facing in and hold the opposite elbow. You manage to, if you can't, you hold on to the wrist. Then from there, you fall in with firm legs, press the thighs back. Use the arm grip to pull yourself a little deeper. If you like a little challenge, you keep the hands like this, otherwise hands to the ground. Okay, you can loosen the grip a little bit, holding onto the forearms. Raise the heels as you slowly clamp the arms. Okay, behind your cuffs. If you feel very miserable or any shooting pain up into the shoulder, please let it go. Lift the butt, drop the heels, release the hands. Slowly press the ground, come into a squat. Sit the butt backwards, lean your butt back and slowly lean back. Heel forward, arms go front. Just lean back halfway, hands hold, bend the knees. You can turn the collarbones and the elbow crease up and just float the legs as you create a little support. Gaze into your belly slightly. Breathe. Exhale, cross the ankle, pull in your knees towards the armpit, and uncross. Cross it another time as you bring your palms down, come onto hands and knees, a lot force. Exhale, a downward facing dog to reset. Plank pose. Drop your knees. Lean forward, slowly bend elbows lower down. Right leg lift, face down the right thigh. Put the foot a bit wider as you need. Left leg lift, face down the left thigh. Open your feet wider. Elbow on the ground below the shoulder, feet close. Same as just now, gazing over left shoulder, left hip, right ankle, right heel, sorry. Come back center, you're stretching out. Your left side, front, left hip flexors as you look over to your right shoulder, right hip, left heel. Come back slowly, lower down the body as your elbows open out. Open the arms like cactus. Not enough space forward, so I'm sliding back a little bit. Tip the elbow down as your palms and forearms face up. Slowly lift the chest, lift the elbows, arms extend out, palms face forward, reach the arms backwards. Bend your right knee, right hand catch on the inner ankle. Bend your left knee, left hand catch on the inner ankle. And then flex the foot as you slowly just let your legs lightly open the chest, gaze down the nose too. It's not even a bow pose, it's more of a shoulder stretch. With your thighs ankle down, the ankles pulling back. Slowly from there, release the chest halfway. Let go of the hands. Elbows bend out, release the right leg, release the left leg. Palms below the forehead and lie flat on the belly for a little while. Feel free to roll across the groin, across the belly, creating more spaciousness onto the sacrum area. Take a while. Take a while. Your forehead face down onto the back of your hands. Take a moment, especially if you feel any like crampy feeling across the lower back. Let's firm the right thighs up. Let's float it in the air. 
feel like you rotate the tie inwards. Hold it there for a little while before you face the tie down and drop the entire leg down. Same thing with the left leg. Now the right leg is nicely stretched out along the length of the mat. Left leg lift up, face the tie down, stretch out through the toes, and face down. Two parallel feet, although you can't see it. Take a while, allow the belly to drop, the butt to soften, the top of the pants bare to be feeling a little bit more comfy. Then from there, you want to reach your right arm out to the right side. Um, I'm not sure if you can see me well, but let's try. Right arm in line with right shoulder, fingers reaching out. Left hand on fingertips next to your chest, next to your ribs. Then from there, you're just going to roll onto the extended right arm. So you can put a block if you like to below your head. If you don't put a block, okay, sometimes it feels a little bit uh, hanging. Then you can either keep the head in the air or you can feel free to just let it stretch out on the diagonal, but make sure it feels comfortable. Left hand beside the ribs, I'm going to roll my head onto the block as I lift my left leg up. Then I'm going to reach out through my right hand more as I let my shoulders drop away. I'm rolling my chest to face flatwards. Left hand very next to your ribs, palms can lay flat, stay here. My left leg, I'm letting it hover over my right straight leg. Alternatively, I can bend my left knee and step the foot down. And then I focus on stretching out my right arm and revolving my chest to face leftwards. Breathe. Too much weight on the right elbow, okay, don't go so far. And just let your chest turn. Again, resting on the side of the ear area. Breathe. It's like a, it's a chest stretch. It's like you stretch over a doorway, but this is like on the ground version. I stand the left leg straight out to match the bottom leg. Press down the left hand to slowly help yourself unfurl from the position. Release the clock. Your arms can now stretch or go into cactus. The second set I will do is a block for you to see. Hopefully you don't see and you can just use your um, just listen to the cues and that will guide you into the practice. Left arm outstretch, more horizontally in line with shoulders. The more you angle down, that will likely be easier. The more you angle up, that will be uh, harder. But it's not really, you know, not a vertical line upwards. It's more like from the the straight line, horizontal straight line is about 15 degrees up or down. Left arm out stretch, right hand, press fingers or press hands. Then from there, you're just rolling onto a slim left side waist. Roll in. If there's no block, the head will be a little elevated. Right leg can stay, the right knee can bend. Okay, and then you reach the left arm out a little bit. And you try to turn the chest, okay, facing out rightwards. Just let the neck be soft, extending, breathe. Take a while. Let both shoulders draw away from the ears. Your left ribs is pressed against the ground, so it is, it's working against more resistance to breathe. Okay, that could be considered a kind of breath training. Okay, but if it proves too challenging, so let yourself anchor down or put a block below your left ear. Straighten out the right leg to level. Press the right palm for support. Slowly unfurl from the position. Then the elbow. Cactus. A few breaths be to relax the jaws. Or sometimes I like to turn my face to right side. I feel my left side neck get a little bit more support. And if, as it feels safer for me to draw my shoulders down towards the waist. And we're just going to turn to the second side. And we're going to make it really nice for ourselves as we roll just directly down to lying down on our back. And then your knees are bent. Your arms are beside the body. And then some of us will feel that the shoulders don't roll really well. 
Okay, we just okay. This with knees bent, feet parallel. Just reach the arms up. Okay, the arms are in line with the shoulders. Just feel okay, and and your arms are up. Okay, it's a perpendicular to the torso, and then you drop the shoulders down and then up. Then you pull downwards, lift up. Now you dig the shoulder in the ground, pull up, dig down, pull up, and dig down. So it's like playing with a little bit with protraction and retraction. Okay, it's like spreading out the shoulder blades as you lift up and digging into the shoulder blades as you pull down. So find somewhere that's in the neutral and then you reach your hands down. Then same alignment, your armpit is like facing in and your fingers is going up like robot arms. This is a little bit, this is quite nice because most of us would have find a little gully, a little valley, okay, at the base of the neck through the shoulder blades, okay. It's a nice push down position. Then you step your feet enough so you can feel the weight of the foot pushing into the ground. Tuck your tail gently with this robot arms. Back of the head also press down. Tuck your tail to lift your butt up enough. Keep level. Then you stretch the belly out forward to the front knees as you push down the elbows. Maybe because of this robot arms, you can you can reach your arms forward. And feel like you're gonna clap your arms below you, interlace your fingers, and the back of the head press down as you do a shoulder stretch below your bridge pose. Continue to squeeze the invisible block. Those who find this too challenging, please pull down the ends of the mat or keep those robot arms for yourself. Breathe. Exhale, sit your butt onto the fist. Slowly, slowly pull the arms out. Adjust your ribs slightly away. Sometimes my hair gets in the way and I just you know, like you're pulling the hair and let back the neck be long. Then from here, okay, you can keep the feet set up. Just reach your right arm up and back. It's like doing a little back stroke. And change. And change. Resist the temptation to rest the arm fully onto the ground either direction. So you feel like you're extending from the shoulder blades. A few rounds, okay. Play around with where your palms is facing, gives you a smooth action of the arm in the shoulder. Then let's end with the right arm next to your ears and then you drop the knee slightly towards the left side. It's a little nice, it's a nice stretch from the entire right wrist armpit. Um, Waist to knee. If it feels too lopsided, please shift the right, the buttocks towards the right side. Your left hand can weigh down either your left knee or your right knee. Stay here. You can gently roll across the back of the head. Or feel free to let the right arm draw circles. Not enough space, go with elbow bent. And then you go in the counter direction a few times. before you lay the arms out again and you can feel free to add a little bit of resist as you turn your face a little bit to the right bend the right elbow in line with the shoulder slowly unfurl from the position and sit your bottom right in the center arms down left arm next to your ears Feel free to shift the buttocks a little bit leftwards so you twist a little bit more through the left line. Right hand can weigh down the left thigh or the right thigh. Staying here gives you a nice good side body stretch. Your ribs, okay, so like creating more space for you to breathe okay, into the ribs area. Or you can add on arm circle on the left. And your opposite direction. Ooh, you might come with some tricks, okay? Soften the wrist, see where your palm facing will make it the easiest for you. And then just lay straight out or bend elbows, 
can gently roll onto the back of the head a few times before you settle to the left side. Turn your face to face up to ceiling. Release the left hand first before you are firm from the position. And from there, the palms facing up. Feel a little brightness like a smile over your collarbones. Stay here with knees bent and let the knock, knees knock in. Constructive rest pose. Option one. Option two. Legs stretch out forward. Shavasana. Shavasana. You want to feel. Let your arms open out a little bit more wider away from the torso. So you feel a little bit more space. It's like giving more space for the ribs to expand out, out through the sides. Soft fingers, soft draws. Notice how your chest, shoulders, up back is feeling. How your breath feels within your body. Feel free to stay here longer for a more fulfilling and nice gratifying shavasana, which is what I will do most days. Or if you running the wash, you need to come out earlier, then just slowly roll on to one side comfortable for you. Use whichever hand is on the top to prop yourself up to a sit facing forward. Eyes stay close. If you came out of Shavasana but decided that the meditation sitter feels lovely for you today, do that. Four. When you're ready, you slide your palms to your heart center. Give thanks for your practice today. Let your chin slightly angle down, turning inwards to your heart. Gently allow the eyes to open. Namaste. Thank you.